Good morning, Holy Spirit, for the strength, the joy, and above all, the faith to believe the Bible. Strengthen us through your word, in Jesus' name, Amen. Friends, do you have reasons to believe the Bible? The Apostle Peter in 1 Peter 1, 22-23 declares, Since you have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the spirit and sincere love of the brethren, love one another fervently with a pure heart. 23. Having been born again, not of corruptible seed, but incorruptible through the word of God, which leaves and abides forever. Scripture is meant to have a positive influence on our conversation, conduct, and character. Therefore, we must trust in the Bible's accuracy and supremacy. Beloved, let's look at three reasons to believe God's word. First, Jesus believed scripture. Our Savior affirmed the, 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 I mean the validity of the Old Testament by using it. He quoted Isaiah's prophecies to poke holes in the Pharisees' false piety as Mark 7, verse 6 to 13 informs us. After his resurrection, Jesus explained what Moses and the prophets had said about him. Luke 24, 27. Finally, in John 14, 26, Christ promised the disciples that the Holy Spirit will enlighten their minds and jerk their memories. This ensured the New Testament accuracy. Secondly, Scripture is inexhaustible. Like a well that never runs dry, the Bible offers a fresh taste of living water each time we open it. People who have dedicated their lives to studying this amazing book admit that they have only skimmed its surface. 
personally, I can't count the times that a passage I knew by heart suddenly yielded new insights. Third, Scripture is indestructible. Over the centuries, various governments and leaders have tried to, in vain to destroy the Bible or at least restrict access to it. And yet, the most hated book in history, which is also the most loved, keeps circulating and winning hearts for God. Indeed, the Bible is the Lord's way of revealing himself to humanity. Through its pages, we learn how to please him with our life and service, believing only these passages that suit one's worldview. Believing only those passages that suits you and I or one's worldview is foolish because every word is God's breath. I pray that even as you are hearing this morning devotion, The breath of God, which is God's word, will be brief into your soul, spirit, and body. Blameless at the coming of the Lord. Thank you for listening. May God richly bless you. Before